looked up and suddenly it was as if all of nature had come alive. The novel is 180 pages and it takes place over a very short time in a supermarket. In order to turn it into a show, we had to change a lot of things. And at the same time, we wanted to be incredibly respectful to the source material. As Christian's obviously noticed, there isn't enough there necessarily to stretch it out for a series. And so he's taken all the weird little idiosyncratic characters and the old tense relationships between people who have known each other their whole lives in a small town, cramming them all together in a high pressure environment and seeing what fissures emerge and how people crack. That sense of just staring for a long time at someone while they break is what Christian has taken from the story. There's this theory that we're always just nine meals from anarchy. Take away food, take away water. Nine missing meals later, that's when people start doing bad things. There's little references to the movie and the book throughout the story. There's the whole Arrowhead mythology that is a part of the book that we sort of follow up and develop on here. <sighs> What's out there? You and your friends know something. The Mrs. Carmody character, the famous villain from the book and the movie, sort of lives on in a new incarnation here. There's something out there. What? I don't know, but... I'm so fed up with you people and your need for attention. It's like a weird cousin to the movie or to the original story, with clear points of inspiration and plot points that are all the same, and yet it's sort of its own beast. I tend to stay away from things and try not to be informed by something that's come before, approach the script with fresh eyes. On this show, we really got to have to dig deep because we're dealing with the human condition. A collective of people in various different places interact with one another as these events keep spiraling out of control. It's sort of like the world turns upside down. I believe Judgment Day has come. 